Pokefans. Michael here. So my number of Twitter followers is only around 1.3% of my total number of YouTube subscribers, which is abnormally low compared to most of my other YouTube friends, so you guys should follow me on Twitter, at J underscore Mikey underscore G. It's time for another Top 10 video. We've all caught Pokemon before, and while some are throw a quick ball easy, some are nothing short of infuriating to catch. So today, I'm here with Jethro Tex to count down the top 10 most frustrating Pokemon to catch. Hey everyone, as Michael said, we'll be looking at some of the Pokemon that might make you want to pull the hair right off your head. But please don't do that, because I think that's unhealthy. This countdown's first half will be here on Michael's channel, and the other half will be on mine. So once you finish up over here, head over to my channel to watch the second half. So without further ado, here are the top 10 most frustrating Pokemon to catch. Number 10. Heracross. Heracross is a really cool bug, and since it's been around for a while, it's found in a lot of different places throughout the games. However, of all those places, there are very few of them where its encounter rate is higher than 5%. And while you can run into it regularly in the Hoenn Safari Zone or the Pattern Bush, most other places require you to either headbutt trees or slather honey on them, which is an aggravating method to say the least. Gen 4 was really into trees or something. Gen Forest. Ha! <laughs> I, I literally just came up with that. That's awesome. Number 9. Abra. You all know this one. Abra is an early game frustration, since if you don't catch it at full health, the second you see it, it'll teleport away and you're not getting it. But while this is frustrating, Abra is still fairly low on this list because as you get further into the game and get access to Ultra Balls and Quick Balls or even Great Balls, it becomes far less of a pain to catch. Number 8. The Legendary Dogs There are quite a few reasons these dogs are in their spot on the list. First off, they roam all over the place forcing you to track them down, which is just plain annoying. Not only that, but catching them in Colosseum is really difficult. Catching Shadow Pokemon is hard enough on its own, since you not only have to worry about not knocking that Pokemon out, but you have to worry about the opponent's other Pokemon and the Shadow Pokemon being stronger than most other Pokemon. All of this combined with the fact that the legendary dogs have the lowest catch rate in the game leads to a GameCube turned off several times and a very frustrated 10 year old Michael. Number 7. Combi. Most weak little bug Pokemon are easy to find. Not Combi. While it is easier to find in the later games, in the Sinnoh games you could only find it on honey trees, which as we said before, is an obnoxious capture method. But what makes Combi truly frustrating is the fact that most of the time, you're looking for a female. Male Combi isn't able to evolve into Vespiquen, so if you want your Combi to become anything more than what it currently is, you need a girl, of which there is only a 12.5% chance to find. That means there's only a 0.625% chance of finding a female Combi on one of the honey trees in the Sinnoh games, which is understandably infuriating. Number 6. The Reggies Whoever designed how you unlock the Reggies must have binge-watched Indiana Jones, National Treasure, or that one episode of Spongebob where they try to find the lost episode? You all know how this happens. Go find the out-of-the-way underwater cavern, learn a completely new alphabet, unless of course you have access to the internet, do a bunch of ridiculous things with HMs and aquatic Pokemon, and then go find them. It is insane. And not only do you have to do so many ridiculous things, the Reggies themselves aren't an easy catch, so it's even more work once you get there. Birdkeeper Toby and I actually did a video about why catching the Reggies is so ridiculous and complicated, so be sure to check that out when you get a chance. So that's the first half of the list. Now I hope remembering trying to catch these Pokemon didn't get you too agitated, because there's still five more. So head on over to my channel where Michael and I finish off this list. And if you thought these Pokemon were frustrating, oh, just you wait. What did you think of this video? Do you agree with the list? What are some other Pokemon you think are frustrating to catch? Although keep in mind, they could be in the second half video. Let me know in the comments below! And if you like this video, be sure to hit like, follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and subscribe if you haven't. And if you didn't like it, leave a dislike and let me know down below what I can do better. Also be sure to check out my other channel, JMikeyG, where I do some fun non-Pokemon stuff. Alright, that's all I have for now, so go watch the second half, and until next time, Bucket fans, go to catch them all!